again one of these cards would be the cut card you'd have these four in your hand again it doesn't matter which of the four cards is paired whether it's a queens or whether it's the pair of jacks or the pair of tens doesn't matter which which card is paired it's a double run for ten so your double runs count eight or ten the next thing the next thing that can happen is that you can have a run of three but you have three of a kind find another 10 here somewhere you can have a, a run of three 10 jack queen with trips so how much would this count well the trips count six points so that this, these three tens would count six and then you have this 10 jack queen is three more 10 jack queen is three more this 10 jack queen is three more so this would be six plus three plus three plus three would be 15. that's sometimes referred to as a triple run the uh so you so you have a double run for eight a double run for 10 triple run for 15 the next thing that can happen is that you have a run of run of three that involves two pair. So you have you have a, a pair of, of tens and a pair of queens would be the pair of tens counts two, the pair of queens counts two, so that's four. Then you would have this 10 jack queen this 10 jack and this queen would be three and three would be six then this 10 jack queen is three more this 10 jack queen is three more so that would be three six nine twelve so that would be two plus two is four plus three plus three plus three plus three would be 16. this is uh, a double 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 or 16. a double double run double double run again it doesn't matter whether you have two two tens a jack and a queen or whether they have two tens two jacks and a queen or whether you have two queens, two jacks, and and a ten. That's a double double. A double double one. Let me ask you something, Henry. You you said a minute ago that the that the double run is the key to cribbage. And I think what way I took that is recognizing what kind of double run you have here is the key. Is that right? Right. Okay. The first one first one you look for is a pair. You see, if you have a pair and or a run, All right. if your pair is involved, separate is not involved in the run, then it'd be separate. You count that separate. That would be two plus three. Gotcha. If they are together, then you get into the double run. The double run for eight, double run for ten, double run for 15 triple run for 15 and a double double for 16. For 16 gotcha. sometimes referred to as pairs royale pairs royale the next thing that you can have that counts in a hand is to have a flush where you had all diamonds where you had all diamonds, four diamonds counts four points, four clubs, four of any suit counts four points. If the suit is the same as the cut card, then you count the you count the the four cards, four of a suit here 
and this card would make uh, five. So, so you, that's so like you, a flush then. Flush is yeah. going to be four or five. Right. If the if the card here is something other than a diamond, then it doesn't count. If it's like this, these four diamonds are not all in the hand, so that doesn't count as four diamonds. Gotcha. It's got to be four of a kind, four of a suit in your hand. The fifth one is the same, then it counts as makes it five points, so you count it. So if it's the same suit, you can use it with your hand. Right, as you count as it point. as five points yeah. rather than four. If it, but if it, your hand has to be all the same suit to count. Right. Right, okay. And the last thing that you get into in cribbage is counting what is known as the right jack. If you have a jack in your hand and the cut card is the same suit as a jack in the hand, for example, the jack of spades is in my hand and the king of spades is a cut card, then this is called the right jack which counts one point. If the jack is cut, the cut card, the jack is not in your hand, so it would not count as the right jack. That is involved in the play of the hand where the jack is turned up and you get two points for that when you're played. Okay, let me ask you one more thing about that. When the jack is in your hand and it is the right jack, is that still called knobs, or is it only knobs when you cut, flip the cut? Knobs, card? knobs is when you flip the cut card over. I don't know exactly when it's called knobs. Maybe either time. I don't know. Maybe both times or okay. one time or the other. Okay. So what you need to do is to learn how to count hands. I've got an outline here for you on how how to count hands. And what I'm going to do is to show you how to practice counting hands okay. that you'll get sort of get a feel for what I've just been through. Okay. And uh, this is cribbage counting. You count all your 15s, then you look for pairs and runs. If your pairs and runs are separate, you count them separate. If they are together, then you count them together. If they are together, it's going to be a run of three with a pair counts eight points. Run of four with a pair counts ten. A run of three with, with trips, three of a kind, counts fifteen. A run of three with two pair count 16. So you can memorize these numbers, 8, 10, 15, 16, but you need to know how to count them and where they come from. In other words, you can't have a double run for 9 or 12 or 14. The only, the only runs with pairs or trips or two pairs is going to count 8, 10, 15 or 16. If they are separate, it's going to be 2 plus 3. If they are together, it's going to be 8, 10, 15, or 16. Then you add that total to your 15s. Then you look to see if you have a flush. A flush is going to count 4. Minimum of 4. It's got to be at least 4 in the hand. If the fifth card, if the cut card is the same, then it counts five. Then the last thing you look for is what they call the right jack. The right jack is the suit of the cut card. You have to have the jack in your hand. You must be the suit of the card that's cut. So I'm going to show you how just to practice counting a few hands. I'm just going to, take, I'm going to take the four cards off the top of the deck and just 
lay them down at random. And this would be the cut card. That's the and cut that, card. That's your hand. This is the hand, and this is the cut card. Gotcha.